Hello everybody, welcome back to Escape from Tarkov Unlocked. It's a, it's actually pretty great to be back here. I was just deliberating with chat about whether or not we keep Prapper's gifts and we finished the debut mission. I just forgot to hit record before we did it. We've done nothing else. You haven't missed much. Keep breathing, it's okay. Eliminate scavs. Five on customs. We gotta go to customs anyway. And we get an MP133 shotgun. Pog. <laughs> But it looks like everyone has voted yes. So I'm going to end the poll there. And we're going to keep prep... Uh, yeah, what's his name? Prepper's Gifts. So we gotten ourselves an ammo box. Uh, we got an AUG. And we've gotten... Uh, he gave us an MP133 with some meds. Which is pretty helpful, let me tell you. So all this does is save us a tiny bit of space right now. It's not, like, huge. Um, we've, we've always accepted the Prepper Gifts in Hardcore series before. Just because it speeds things up a little bit. So I don't feel too bad about doing that. Uh, once we get to level 10... Oh, so this is our stats right now. We've done 13 raids. We've survived five. It's not great. So we need to start doing a little better. Uh, let's just triple check. Oh, we didn't We didn't get our last task here. Uh, kill scabs with a thorax or stomach shot. Just two of them. That's easy. Okay. Uh, no, this is going to be like a zero to hero run, basically. Just to warm up. We'll do some stashes. We'll uh, shoot some scabs. See how we can do. Oof. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be rough. It's going to be rough. At level 10... Let me just check the rules, but I believe at level 10 we get the unlock the ability. And it is indeed at level 10. Medical items and food may be placed in the pouch container. But to answer your earlier question on recording, it doesn't look like there's anything legally prohibiting you in international humanitarian law from using animals in war. Um, it's just more of a, like, humanitarian, you know, hum like, animal rights, environmentalist, moral issue more than it is an international law legal issue. And I remind everyone, for the millionth time, just because there's an armed conflict going on and IHL applies, does not mean that the domestic law of the country that the conflict is taking place in stops applying. So if your country has outlawed animal abuse or the use of animals for violence, that still applies. So the army that's using them in your territory is committing a crime in your territory. And you as a country would technically have a, a right of recourse against them, but only through your own courts. Um, which, yeah, it gets, it's a bit messy. I mean, you could go to the ICJ. The ICJ handles uh, disputes between countries. That's what they're for. But uh, I'm not entirely sure if they really have the, like, the standing to uphold that, you know, in any meaningful sense. A general rule is that if something has been used in war for a long time and it doesn't cause mass casualties, it's typically still allowed to be used uh, or like unnecessary harm. So, um, you know, a, a good example of that is... Uh, I mean, uh, shelling, artillery, right? Even though it is so dangerous and so destructive and is so easy to misaim and things, it's still legal to use artillery. You just have to use it in certain ways. There's no prohibition on the means of warfare. There's a prohibition on certain methods of warfare involving artillery. Whereas, like, chemical weapons are a means of warfare that are banned. We're going to woods. We're going to go with a, a gratch and a dream. And we're going to make it out, baby. We're doing this just right. By the way, guys, uh, please, if you, if you haven't yet, please do like the stream or the video. Never mind, we have a Mosin, not a gratch. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, it really helps the channel, spreads it to new people, and uh, lets me know that you like what you're seeing, if you do. I hear something. Fuck! Oh! Have you got a friend? Has he got a friend? That's why you come in naked, chat. That's why you come in naked. Whew! Oh, what do we do with dog tags? Do dog tags go in the in the case or not? What do you think, guys? So does this go does this go in the case or not, chat? I need you to help me decide. Yeah, why not? It is like a special item, right? Let's get this out on a tray. Thank you very much, PDW. Very cool. Oh, P2DW. PDW would be a personal defense weapon. Rush him? Yeah, it might be a scav. Honestly, I'm more afraid of the scavs than the players. It's... It's above me. Okay, let's keep it moving. 
Yeah, it was not a scav. Okay, maybe it was, maybe it was just the smoke. It was just the wind. I really want to get the shooting range built. That's going to be a lot of fun. Do we do search mission? Go up to the, the USEC camps. It's probably contested, but I think we can win a fight. These cracked shots. We're lucky that guy didn't have a pistol or a assault rifle. He would have got me there. Just because I didn't have armor on. Just one or two lucky shots in the chest and we were done. By the way, do you guys like the the, the holiday shirt? I think I'm holiday shirt pilled now. I'm pretty... I think this weekend I'm going to go to a shop and I'm going to buy like... Five or six wardrobes. Like five or six days worth of holiday shirts so I can wear one every day. They're just so flowy. And it's like... It's like... You know... 35 degrees outside right now, South African summer. Oh, I think it's more like 30 today. That's f it's pretty hot. And um, we're now two weeks into the wipe, which means we're going to run into players at level 55. I, I swear to God, man, the speed at which people know life this game and then complain that it stagnates uh, a week after the wipe astounds me. Like, if you play anything for 40 hours a day, oh, sorry, 14 hours a day, and then, you know, like, kind of just... Give, like, you finish the game in a week and then you keep playing it for four months. Of course it's going to feel stale. You do it to yourself, man. Like for streamers, it's different. That's literally their job, right? But like for everybody else, it's... That's a choice. That's your recreational time. Okay, so the, the fighting's down at the other camp. I'm going to risk it, chat. We'll go in with this for now. I'm going to risk it. We might get like an MP4 or an MP5 or something here. There are enemies at the camp, not people. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yes, terminology matters. They're not combatants. They're the enemy. We don't have much armor, but it is something. Okay, so someone's been through here. But they may not know all the spots that we do. That's the thing, chat. They don't know all the spots that we do. Because they're not little goblin gamers like us. I just want to get search mission done because the compass would be really helpful on on uh, streets. Where's your friends? Where's your friends? Okay, we're playing a little better today. Another level 6. Feels bad, man. Okay, we let the other people know we're here now, though. There's a bit of a concern. Uh, you can get a trooper armor right there. P.S. Uh, you know what? I'll actually take it at this point. We need money, too. Poor dude didn't even have armor. Yeah, no, he didn't know what was going on there. I think he was fairly new. Is that a... Is it a golden egg down there? People don't know the gold spawns yet. That's good for us. That means sniper scav might be a bit more viable as well. I like that the containers don't show you where people have been anymore. Adds a bit more suspense. I don't know if it's intentional or not, but it's, it's an interesting change. To be sure... Okay, what I really care about is this, the ration crate. Come on. Okay, I'll take it. But uh, Okay, I'll take it. Makes bad habit a bit easier later. Any grizzlies for me? Oh god, a grizzly would game change for us right now. We don't have to cheat so much and use the uh, post-rate healing. Didn't take the AR spawn. I'll check the AR spawn right now. You can't stop me. You don't know what I'm capable of. I check AR spawns you don't even know exist. There you go, like that one. I'm giving, I'm just giving that player enough time to move away. Because I want to get search mission done. We got the money for the car, so I'll try and take that if it's still there. It's still there. Just remember the woods extra car extract's always there. If that guy had had armor, we'd be dead. Because uh, I ran out of shots. I'm just, I'm a, bit, I'm a bit worried it's the goons up there. Because of the amount of fighting we heard. Okay, let's do this. Got to kill scavs anyway. Let's do this. We came here to kill scavs, and I've gotten. To, I didn't expect woods to be this busy. It's the middle of a day on a on a Friday, South African time anyway. I guess school holidays are still on. Like university holidays, I mean. 
Oh, my kingdom for a, a, a flashlight on this thing. That'd be so good. Looks like this has not been looted. I wonder what I was hearing then, gunshot-wise. This gold spawn's not there. Key? Key. What do we get? 303! Hey! Okay, hey, hey. that's really, really good. That's a quest key we need. That's really, really good. Also, by the way, I saw Pestily added a new rule to his hardcore series. He started it last night at the time of recording, which is, it was the 5th of January, I think. He, um, he made it so, like, he can loot keys into his pouch container now, but only if they're not examined. I love that idea. So I'm thinking, actually, like, from this point forward, maybe we just do that. Not, that's not, like, an official rule. We'll just try it out. Because that's really fun. Right? Like, I love that. Okay, so after this we run, we do, we run past the, oh, there was something. We run past the, uh, the military vehicles, check for a Salewa. Might find one. We have both the alkalis, we, no, we don't have any alkalis, what am I talking about? Drink this, just because I need, like, space for a Salewa. This PPO ammo, like, we don't need it. We don't need the Obzor. It's just like I'm keeping sights because like we don't, uh, you know, I'd rather use nothing than that. Let's be honest. Okay, I just want to run past this, uh, this little thing and then we loop back around towards the car and just see if it's taken. It shouldn't be. It was taken. Okay, shit. That's what we call comedic timing. I, this new audio is so weird. I keep hearing like ghost steps behind myself, but it's like me walking, but it sounds like someone else coming past. So strange. Okay, so we're going to avoid the village entirely. We don't need it. We're going to go straight this way to the UN roadblock. We're going to bisect the map. Oh, by the way, chat, I've, I've got a, um, a a question for you, and I need, I need an answer soon. For the Hardcore Tarkov, un oh, sorry, for the Tarkov Unlocked series, do you want full raids, or do you want edited content? Like, where instead of having, like, two raids an episode, two or three raids an episode, I'll have five or six or maybe even three or four, and they're just like cut, like the the this part of stuff where we just walk in from A to B is cut out, um, or at least cut down. Is that something you're interested in, or do you prefer the full raid kind of uh, style of video? Because the full raid video is much easier for me to make, but it also tends to perform a little worse. But I'm okay with that if people enjoy it more. Because ultimately, that's the staying power, right? Is that uh, people have fun? Gun? No. Gun? No. Gun? Definitely no. Oh god, anything with a full auto fire mode, please. My kingdom my kingdom for the ability to spray. My left click game is not what it used to be, chat. Uh, also, I need to change my mouse. I'm running the old one because I spilled hot coffee on my good one. So the VoIP button's gonna be like all messed up. The egg is also just money. The PS ammo can go. It's not for a mutants? Hold on. Hold on. I can do this. We have to drop some stuff here. I can go on there. That can go there. This has to rotate. Okay, we're leaving. We're leaving. I got my new best friend. It's a gun with full auto. PS ammo. Oh, baby. Should use all that food and water. Why do I need that? Uh, tell me what that is, Adachi, and I'll tell you why. Everything on me is important. Right now, anyway. The Defiance front sight I kept for the Ergo Boost for Gunsmith Part 4. It's very difficult to make the line without the, the sights. Okay, long raid. Definitely gonna edit that one down, but a good raid. Very good raid. Not grabbing the extra mag. There was an extra mag? Fuck. I didn't even register that. You're right. There was. Alright, nice. Cheeky little... Oh, we got him in the left arm, even. So that means I hit him... I must have hit him both times? Uh, that was sprayed at that dude. That was pistol rounds. Two fatal hits. Hit count four. I must have hit him twice to kill him in the left arm. Or he was already low HP. You need a 2,000 meter scope at some point for gunsmith. But apparently they've changed the gunsmith task. So all of that information is now heavily out of date. Okay, for those of you just joining us, chat voted earlier that to allow me to keep Prapper's gifts. That includes the org... Gave us an ammo box, gave us this MP133, which is very close to the gunsmith. MP133, which is very nice. I think we keep rocking the Mosin with the PS ammo. 
Oh, that's why we killed him, because we hit him with PS, not LPS. Ah, you see. That'll do it. Okay, Dorms 303 is a very nice thing to get. That's uh, that's needed for one of the early skier quests. Magnet's good. We need that for the hideout. Meds are good. Nuts are good. Strike, Melbra, Elite. All good. Poxram we can sell. The Akhtar we will keep. Uh, anything in here we need to take out. I don't know if we're going to be able to do the tree. We might be able to get a gas analyzer out of it before this event ends. We actually have meds. What the hell? The, the prophecy is true. The ancients foretold this. I think we keep running the Mosin. Uh, just to get that sniper skill trained up. Bit by bit. Do I often check fence for ammo? Not as often as I should. Actually, let's do it right now. Uh, oh, oh, up, 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 up. Cool. That's all the LPS we'll need for a while. Didn't even see a single scab to shoot. Oh, we saw one. We didn't kill him. Um, that's a nice easy get. 20,000 bucks. Uh, 2,800 experience is really nice. We did not hit level 8. We did hit level... We hit level 7. We hit level 7. Okay, hold on. No, no. I I was... Uh, yeah, we don't actually. We could just... I think we need to focus on our tasks. So, what do you want from me right now? Okay. Mod Taz and BT on me, body armor. Let's uh, get this out on a tray. What's that? What's going on here? Dutchy Fine Void, thank you so I much. You to not let Couch bribe you about the bribing poll. Okay, what I will let you know is that, Adachi, you have just hit the $20 wildcard threshold, meaning the number of wildcards on the stream is now up to two. You get to determine as the final donor. It's a, it's a race to the bottom at this point. Um, uh, the chat gets to determine what we do uh, with this one. Chat, what map are we going to? First comment, that's where I run. We don't have proper viewer integration with YouTube. On Twitch, this is so much simpler. You know, you can just, like, redeem uh, certain events for money. But you can't do that on YouTube yet, so uh, this is gonna be this is gonna be the next best thing. I'm gonna do our we're gonna do our best to kind of just you know cobble together a stream experience here. Thank you guys for putting up with the jank, by the way. You can do a John Wick raid, like on uh, on Factory. We can try it. Sure, why not? We got a pistol. I can't play the John Wick music like Pestily did, which was very cool, because I don't have uh, disposable income <laughs> right now to lose ad revenue on. Uh, to monetization issues. I think we're in the hotel. Yeah, I think we're in the hotel. Uh, okay, hold on. Did I equip my compass? I did not. Fantastic. Let me bring up the streets map, by the way. Exclamation mark streets? Exclamation mark map? I can't remember which one I enabled. Someone mods, try both, please. It will give you the link to the map I'm using to try and work my way around here. Okay. I believe this is the Pinewood Hotel. This is the Pinewood Hotel. Okay, and since seeing as... <laughs> I missed. I missed. <laughs> Alright, that one doesn't count. We'll run it back. We'll run it back. Boop. How's the new gaming PC running? Fantastically, Alpha. I'm using my old mouse now, though, so my VoIP's gonna bug out a lot. Shit, chat, that's... Chat, none of this is, uh... None of this is a gun. Come on, PM pistol. PM pistol. Use the PPA stage with drum mag yesterday and that thing obliterates. I cannot wait until we get proper level 2. Let's get this out on a tray. Oh my god, said it. Yucky Mooney, mile scream in Swiss at player scabs. Okay. In Swiss? I don't speak Swiss. Hey you! Will you come to my house today? Oh god, please don't come to my uh, I'm neutral! Okay, wait, hold on. Maybe, I don't know what the fuck that voice was. Um, I'm panicking. I don't know what a Swiss accent sounds like. I live there and I can't remember. Uh, it was very French. Water. Ah, Adachi. After that, I need it. Thank you. Was that to shut me up? Water. Scream in Dutch? Okay. I can't speak Dutch. I do speak Afrikaans, which is like close enough, right? Okay, the second we find, uh, the second we find some players, I'll give them the what for. Let me tell you. Oh, we're taking the car. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing this raid. Okay, that's the goal. Chat is to make it to the car. You hear? I want you to focus on that. Like, how much profanity do you think I can get away with if it's an Afrikaans? Because uh, my Afrikaans vocabulary extends to swear words and then very slightly further beyond and not much more. <laughs> but I mean, I grew up speaking it. What's the graffiti saying? 
I have no idea. Can anyone here read Russian? I heard them. Hello? Wait, Afrikaans. Hello? Hey! Hey, yo! Yo, fucking Nair! So toxic. <laughs> ja, kom nou, yo, poes, man! Ik zal jou bloody steek! Yeah. Okay, ran out of ran out of VoIP time there, but you get the idea. <laughs> Incredible gameplay. <laughs> Not loud enough. Okay. Let's get this out on a trip. You asked for it. Is Afrikaans the most needlessly aggressive language on God's earth? It's not needlessly aggressive. It's intentionally aggressive. <laughs> Designed to instill fear in the hearts of the enemy. I hate the shotgun so much. Come on. Come on, baby. Don't let that double melee kill go to waste. Ooh! Ooh! 40 rounds of AP. 40 rounds of yes, please. I, I If you put a German dude and an Afrikaans man in the same room and had them scream about the same thing, I guarantee you, you're backing away from the Afrikaans guy first. It's a language of passion. That's because the Afrikaans lad is probably armed. That's because the Afrikaans lad is probably 6 foot 4. And I uh, could lift a tractor by the time he was three years old. What did you miss, Knee Cruncher? A double melee kill with an axe. And a couple of PMC kills earlier as well. We've had a, we had a really, really good run. We've only had two raids, really. Well, this is actually technically the third one. We spawned in with just an axe. Uh, we've got all this kit. But we also spawned in with an axe earlier and then ate shit. So, you know, nature balances itself. Let's get this out on a tray. Alpha, thank you so much for another the one. RON. Another one. Another one. Okay, you, is that another wild card? Have we hit the limit? Yeah, we have. We have. All right. Uh, I think I like the system. Alpha, you decide as the final donor what the what the weapon is going to be. Chat, you decide the map. Vote amongst yourselves. So this is yeah, Pictora Bar. We go down here, and we pretty much just go straight from this point onwards, and we can extract, and then we'll work out what the next wild card is going to be. Ah! Ah! Scabs here are mad! And I'm madder. Oh god. Just not on the 50. Not on the 50. Not like this. Oh, uh, Senate pushed it over the line? Okay, Senate, what's it gonna be? What's the final verdict, brother? Thank you. You're too kind. You're too kind. You didn't have to. Or it's specific, I guess. Oh, fuck yeah. Don't mind if I do. Dude, are you seeing this loot? And an armored rig? Are you seeing this loot, chat? An Iskra? Dude, it's, it's Mary, Mary Chrysler, man. Uh, okay, we're gonna have to do it this way. A Salewa with 10 uses. How nice. Like that. That's the way we're gonna have to do that. And then I can't fit the GSSH, unfortunately. I have to drop this gun. And right now, I'd rather have the gun. That's a 50 cal. I am leaving. Holy Christ. This way. I'm gonna go this way. Ah! Fear. We gotta get the friggin' loot. 
Please. Please, no snipe. Please. Yes. That was a big one. That was a big one. Oh, that was a big one. Oh, that was a big one. Okay. Oh my god, I cannot believe we made it out with all this stuff. Okay, uh, start me here. Oh man, I'm, I have, there's no more room. It doesn't exist. We're suffering from success already, chat. Okay, gone. I'm gonna, I'm gonna unload this. I do not want to use this thing if I can help it. Uh, you know what? Same for this one. Get the heck out of here. Oh, I'm getting a bit of stutter on my end. Are you guys doing okay? It might be the, the heat in this room. It's a bit of a concern. Turn in that Toz. Uh, we should probably just use this as... I'm going to sell both of these. I'm going to sell the Odd Boss. Because, like, let's be real. Uh, the Aramid. I don't think we're keeping the Aramid. I'll keep the ornaments for now until the Christmas thing is over. We can always sell them then. There's the final Iskra. One of each of these two. And then we got that done. That's awesome. Alright, Ragman. Keta with only 20 bullets. Ooh, that's going to be fun. Miles 23 and me stream when? Oh, please no. Use the worst weapon you got. Okay, deal. Worst weapon I got. It's probably the Keta with 20 bullets. Or actually, it's probably one of these shotguns. To be completely transparent with you. So uh, I'll keep one of them, and we'll use the shotgun I hate so much, just for you guys. And I think that's that sounds like a reserve run to me. And we'll sell this to Peacekeeper. And we will keep the medication. Pimped out pistol with no armor. Billy Sneaky Reserve. Lovely. Yeah, yeah, that's going to be the plan. Rat mode activate, let me tell you. I will wear the, the gish. Okay, this is definitely... I hate this gun so much, so that's the one we're going to use. You can eat cotton, but I wouldn't recommend it. Yeah, yeah. Te te I mean, Alpha, technically you can eat pretty much anything. It's just that you can only eat some things once, right? Like, everything is edible. Just not very often. Especially since I can't aim with this gun. There's no sights on it. Hey, Pratham. How's your, uh, how's your stream going, buddy? No! Please! Please! Spare me! Ugh! Okay. Okay. We're fine. Nothing to fear. Never in any danger at all. So weird. The audio is so strange. Like, I can't tell if I'm supposed to hear that person or not. Here we go. Like, surely he's with me here, right? Like, surely he's right there. It sounds like he's, like, in this corridor. Show yourself. Ah! Oh! Oh! I don't think I got him with the nade. Damn it. It, it the fuse took too long. Ah! Oh. Ah, oh, damn it. I was too slow. Sister Fister. Wow. That's a uh... That's an unfortunate name. And of course, a huge thank you to our channel members and patrons for the month. Couch Potato, The Senate, Kelly Ananas, Call Me Bo 82, Riley David, LCG Canyon Sahar, Knee Cruncher, Old Man Tater, Frickin' Friendly Beaver, Not K Arthur, Cut Beef Go Ham, Jack Smallman, Rivo, Richard Berry, Adachi, I'm Alpha, King, Raija, Sleep Deprived Sam, Jan the Pan, Eve Roxanne, Alan O'Sillahair, Charlie Weber, Mermix, Mel Roman, and Officer C4. You guys all rock.